Oh, how you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. This is a quick brief uh, for the market and gold. Uh, I'm gonna start with the market because of uh, these negative uh, energy and negative stuff in the market. I just wanna talk about it. Uh, I'm gonna start with the good news in the market. I really don't think there will be a crash. Uh, based on uh, there is no uh, like a liquidation mode, uh, meaning uh, the money is not going to the dollar. So that's always a plus. Before any meltdown or crash, people get, chase the dollar. And the market been going down for how many days? And the dollar went down for three days with little technical damage, uh, like a, a mean reversion. So usually, if you have <coughs> if you have a run for the dollar, that means uh, the market will collapse. So uh, as far as the dollar is concerned right now, this is the UUP ETF for the dollar. Uh, as far as the dollar is concerned right now, uh, the possibility of a mean reversion is, is at uh, extreme probability. First of all, you have a negative divergence here, okay, with uh, the Bollinger Band, okay? So usually 100% uh, of the time in the past, when you have such a thing in a weekly time frame, although the weekly time frame is not over, but the bearish crossover is on, confirms the negative divergence. So most likely we'll go to the 10-week moving average, which is uh, the 50-day moving average for the dollar, okay? So uh, in the past, every time you hit the Bollinger Band, you go all the way the 20-day moving average except two times. Okay, except only two times in the past two years, two, two years, three years, every time you you, you go into this type of uh, formation, uh, the dollar goes uh, down. Uh, so that means uh, the liquidation mode is almost now not probable. Okay, uh, let me just try to make it even. Okay, right here. So this is the weekly time frame. This is the USD this time. So uh, today's information is not here. It's not updated. So one one time you go down to the 20 uh, week moving average. One time you go down all the way through the lower end of the bond in Japan. Every time except this time in April 2019. And this time in J June uh, 2018. And this time in November 2016. So it it's 15 against four uh, against three this is wrong against three so the probability is high for i mean reversion to the 50 day moving average or oh the 100 day moving average or 20 week moving average so no liquidation mode so is there any uh, technical uh, damage in the chart the answer is uh, it it might be we are really in 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 in, uh, in in very scary territory as far as a correction so the worst scenario to me is a correction is not a meltdown. So what do I see here in the weekly time frame? This is the uh, Dow Industrial. Okay, so I'm going. I want to do the weekly time frame. So so we have an over uh, look. You know, just to give us a look. So I see a head and shoulder here. I see an extreme, extreme ugly, ugly uh, bearish MACD. You know, so we've been having it since the start of the correction in June. And we, we kissed right here, we tried to go up, and we failed, we keep failing. And the stochastic at lowest level since the meltdown here. So is there is a, any there is definitely a technical um, uh, weakness and also damage. You have uh, in the, in the Dow Industrial, you did not uh, break uh, you could you could argue that you break this is the trend line and you broke you broke it here oh this is the trend the neckline for the head and shoulder but the cues you already did that you already broke the neckline and you're going for a measured move okay so uh, it's it's uh, this number 381 okay minus this number right here which is 363 and it gives you the measure move so we are definitely in a correction in the middle of correction and it's maybe it's gonna take longer than I thought to okay so so no meltdown 
a correction is the worst case scenario. This is the Apple, same information as in the queues. We're definitely in break, breakdown territory and everything's pointing down. Bearish MACD, also bearish uh, stochastic. We can do the weekly time frame for Apple because sometimes you look at the leaders of the market and it gives you some pictures. And the same thing here, you have always, when you have a negative divergence, that means it's, it's a, a turning point at least uh, at least for some times, it's not the end of the lake, but it's going to be a correction in that lake. So you have a high, a lower high, you have a high and a higher high, and this is the weekly time frame. The longer the duration, uh, the worse is the correction. So it started with August 2020 till today. You have highs, 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 and you have lower lows in the in the MACD, and also here, right here. But we're talking about this one, so most likely we will go to at least oversold. Once we go to oversold and stochastic, we might go to embedded move and it might go further. Uh, would I hold uh, Apple right now? I would, I would uh, maybe I would be very nervous to hold it right now because it's breakdown territory, okay? Amazon is the same, and this is left shoulder head right shoulder and we you really are tagging you really are pushing your luck right here with amazon so the leaders are extremely extremely weak extremely weak shows a lot of weakness with everything's going down as far as the macd and this is the weekly time frame and the uh, bear stochastic so in stochastic in amazon this is the lowest value if you exclude this one it's gonna it's gonna be equal to this one or lower later since the oh the meltdown okay so is there weakness in the market yes absolutely and this is an iu another another uh, sweetheart uh, for for many people and it's also in a damaged uh, damaged even the weekly time frame and this is the lowest uh, stochastic reading since 2019 that shows a lot of weakness and more selling is to come okay so let's look at let's look at the vix the vix right here this is the weekly time frame for the, for the vix and it's really uh, it's pushing its luck and now it's going through a doji let me do it let me do it without the oh that the drawing so just uh okay so the vix is above 50 in uh, in our side which assumes a, a lot of uh, strength uh, and it's in the bullish uh, harami uh, in the daily time frame and it shows uh, it needs confirmation but it might break up higher and i discussed this uh, i don't know if this is registered as overbought in the rsi if it is uh, to me it's almost registered so i would assume it's registered so uh, as far as my find is concerned we will challenge this high right here which is 28.79 at least so this is uh, it's going to be a lot of fear in the vix as far as this rsi is concerned and this is the daily time frame let's look at the weekly time frame what do i see in the weekly time frame for the vix And it's it's the highest RSI reading, right here, since since the, the almost the meltdown, not the meltdown, the the severe pullback in early this year with the AMC and all this that fiasco. Okay, so it shows this bad boy is going up even higher, so it's gathering strength. So we might we might challenge the thirty seven. 51 okay this one is game 28 is game this one is a might be okay so this is the weekly let me look at the monthly and you can see even in the monthly you are over 50 which is which shows a lot of strength in the VIX so conclusion for the the finding so far 
the VIX is showing more volatility in the daily, weekly, monthly. Uh, the leaders are showing, uh, are showing uh, a lot of weakness in the queues. Breakdown, Apple breakdown, Amazon almost breakdown. Uh, USD, the, this is the good news. USD is not, we're not in liquidation mode, so hopefully we're not gonna crash. I think I'm almost certain we're not gonna crash because of this you need uh, running for the dollar to crash and this is not a bullish setup for the dollar okay so uh, let me look at my uh, disco signal the, I looked at the disco signal and it really uh, made me uh, very worried because in this assumption I have I plotted for the equity uh, put to call I plotted the 20-day moving average and the 50-day moving average, and every uh, bearish crossover means uh, good things happen to the market. Bullish crossover, bad thing happened to the market, a and uh, the, the the accuracy is almost 95 percent, 92 to 95 percent. So it's really a reliable uh, uh, signal. And you know me, if you know me, and you see how, how reliable it is in my tweets and in my videos. So now, unfortunately, unfortunately, and I tweeted about that, I was very worried. It's almost there, and this one is not updated. So we're gonna be kissing each, these, this bullish crossover, we're gonna have at least a kiss. This, this last update is Friday, okay? Conclusion, again, Disco Signal is showing volatility is, is very ha happening. So if if you if we test it, it gives me ninety two percent chance of volatility. Hopefully, it's not a crash because of the dollar. So again, dollar saying it's not a crash; it's a correction. Disco signal say there will be a volatility. The VIX, all the way saying volatility. The leaders, Amazon, Apple, Q's, uh, showing a lot of volatility. Uh, and I'm gonna lo I'm gonna upload. Uh, a video after that for gold uh, I wish you guys the best please like if you like and subscribe and share and remember that this go forever oh.